Welcome to Love Heart AI's demo. Love Heart AI is designed to assist educators and teachers in understanding and extending children's learning. With a cycle of planning centered around the child, educators can create learning stories, daily journals, learning plans, and reflections in seconds. Let's dive into some of our key features. The four main features Love Heart has to offer is journeys, journals, curriculum, and coaching. Before I show you our features, I'd like to demonstrate how Love Heart can be tailored specifically for you as an educator. So the first one would be writing style. So we understand the importance of maintaining authenticity in your documentation and reflecting on your unique writing style. That's why Love Heart offers a feature called writing style. So educators can now uh, input words, phrases, or even a copy and paste version of their learning stories that they've written previously. This allows Love Heart to analyze and adapt to your writing style, ensuring coherence and authenticity in your documentation. Furthermore, we have also included multiple different frameworks across different countries, including Australia, New Zealand, the UK and Canada. Um, Love Heart also includes a philosophy section where you can select from different types of pedagogical influences. Um, and alternatively, you can have the option to customize um, according to your centers or personal philosophy. So the first feature that I want to show you is journeys. Now think of journeys as your full cycle of planning. This is essentially where you will be creating learning stories, uh, follow-ups, and the evaluation or reflection to complete that cycle of planning. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy it is to create a learning story. So for this example, I'm going to use Willow. So we're going to click into Willow's profile and we're going to click the plus button and a new document's going to open. Now in the start off with jottings or notes of what you've observed, this is where you can pop in anything that you may have witnessed or um, seen in the Willow's learning environment. Located at the top of my learning story, there's actually a no goal button. So if I was to go ahead and click that, this is where you can pop in a developmental goal of what you would like to achieve with the child. This could also be a family goal that you have been working on with the family, or it could even be a child interest. Again, this is completely optional, but the reason why we have goal-based learning here on Love Heart is that way it will be able to tell the AI where the child's at developmentally and how they can tailor activities and experiences to support the child. For this example, I have popped in a goal, communication and learning to use her words. So I've also made it quite specific um, and I'm now going to click done. Not only does Love Heart have uh, the learning story type of observation, we have uh, other types of observations, including a diary entry and a letter. I've just typed in a couple of sentences in the jottings and notes section, and I'm just going to stop there for a moment because I want to introduce you to another feature that we have here on Love Heart. Now, located at the bottom of my message box, there's a red shield, and it's also saying more detail is required. We have a feature here on Love Heart called Sentinel, which basically means that we are dedicated to ensure educators are creating quality and authentic documentation across the platform. Also while upholding the highest standards of professionalism and pedagogy. We introduced the feature Sentinel, um, our own AI system that improves the integrity and use of, the, of Love Heart. Just to ensure that educators continue to build their professional com uh, capability while saving time and improving outcomes for children. Now, if I was to push the uh, start writing button, it's now automatically going to stop me and it's telling me that more details required. Now, Love Heart has given me two options. I could keep writing in this message box to continue with the what has happened um, and any learning that's occurred or I could actually get help from Coach Sue. Now, Coach Sue is a built-in feature that we have across uh, all our features, and she is an AI-based coach to support us with extending on our knowledge, our, um, the context of the learning story. Coach Sue supports us by asking us some reflective questions to help us understand what is happening in the learning story um, and what is also happening for the child and what we could do as an educator to support this child in the situation. Coach Sue is also fantastic for educators who may be struggling to write learning stories or documentation or who are currently training towards their certificate, diploma or um, bachelor's. For this example, I'm going to use uh, Coach Sue to demonstrate how she works. 
So I've had a back and forth conversation with Coach Sue. So we started off with a couple of sentences originally in the um, initial jottings and notes. And what Coach Sue has enabled me to do is ask me some reflective questions such as, you know, how did the children react in the situation? Um, also, you know, what the other child did, how did he express um, his feelings? And then it also relates back to the child's goal. So the great thing about Coach Sue is she's context aware, so she'll always keep us focused and bring us back to the child's goal and how we are working towards achieving that with the child. Another fantastic thing about Coach Sue is that she'll often ask you what you can do next with the child. And often what I like to do is I would always ask her if she had any ideas on what I could do next with the child, just in case I'm not missing anything out as an educator. Now, as you can see, there are two buttons right here, and it's now telling me that we have enough uh, information, content uh, for our learning story, um, ready to create one. So you can magically create a story right now, or you can insert the transcript. I'm gonna go ahead and click the insert transcript button, and it's automatically going to copy and paste that whole conversation I've had with Coach Sue into my message box. We also have different types of writing tones that you can choose from, and that just creates the narrative of the learning story. Again, this is completely optional. We also have the option to choose the uh, length of our learning story from very short to long. I'm going to keep it at short. You also are able to add any photos as well, if that's something that you would like to do. Now, you can also streamline your documentation a lot quicker by selecting the microphone button. And what that enables you to do is instead of typing on your laptop, your iPad or your phone, you can actually click the start recording button. And what that essentially will do is it will use your voice to start creating learning stories. Once you're satisfied with the content of your learning story, I'm now gonna go ahead and click the start writing button. And what that's enabled me to do is it's going to use all of the information that I've had with Coach Sue using my own jottings and notes to now create me a learning story. Awesome. So as you can see, it's created me a generated uh, title. You can go ahead and make edits and changes yourself. You can also look at the content that you put in before you generated the learning story. You can also review the coaching session as evidence of critical reflection. Now, to go to the learning story, as you can see, it's created an observation, the analysis, and three options of a where to from here. So Loveheart will always generate um, three different follow-ups that you can do on ideas on what to do next with the child. Um, this is completely optional. You can do your own uh, follow-ups, but Loveheart will always have this there for you if you are struggling on what to do next with the child. Now onto the features located on the right hand side of my screen, you can see that we have the smiley face emojis. Now this is what we call love heart feedback. So if you're not satisfied with the way that it sounds, for example, you know, some of the words you wouldn't use personally as a teacher or an educator, you can go ahead and click one of the uh, emojis and provide a reason for why you're not satisfied with the content of your learning story. Once you've provided a reason for your rating, your reason will be used to improve how Love Heart writes your learning stories. So the more that you do this, the more it's going to be tailored to sound like you as the educator. Another feature that we have here on Love Heart is you can now start uh, translating your documentation into 22 different languages. Uh, this is fantastic if you've got families that come from another country, there may be a language barrier. Um, any educators that are from another country, English is your second language. The fantastic thing about this is you can actually document your uh, learning stories for your children in your home language. You can also talk into the microphone in your home language. And what that will do is Love Heart will uh, translate your documentation into English. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose Spanish and I'm going to show you how easy it is to translate your documentation into another language. And as you can see, it has translated my learning story into Spanish. Now, the next part of my learning cycle that I would like to show you is we have our learning plans. Now, as you can see, there were three follow ups located at the bottom of my story. We are now making it a lot easier for our educators to streamline their documentation more efficiently by providing the follow ups uh, 
on these buttons. So we're going to go ahead and choose role plan, for example, and it's now going to ask me if it's okay to create a plan based on the follow up that we that Love Heart has suggested. So I'm now going to go ahead and click create. And it's now going to create me a learning plan ready for me to implement with my child um, on the where to from here. Now through the follow up that we've chosen, it's now created me a learning plan. So as you can see, it's created the learning context of the activity, the resources that I'll need, the specific developmental milestones. Um, so as you can see, she's three and it's giving me some things that I could do with her throughout the activity. It's got the associated learning outcomes of the framework that we've chosen and also the specific teaching strategies that we'll use to support this child uh, throughout the activity. One thing to mention is that when you are creating documentation here on Love Heart, it will always have clear links to the framework and also your philosophy if it's appropriate. Again, as you can see, the features over here are built in um, on the right hand side of my screen, including the Love Heart feedback, the magic actions for you to translate your documentation. You also have the mark complete button on your learning plan. So if I was to go back, you can, it will now be highlighted green. And that way it's a fantastic way to streamline and keep track of your documentation. We also have the copy button where you can actually copy your whole uh, document or anything that you do here on Love Heart ready for you to paste um, onto other platforms or onto a Word document. Love Heart is quite intuitive, so it knows the next part of your cycle of planning would be to do a reflection. Now, there are a couple ways that you can do a reflection to complete your full cycle of planning. The first, to freely reflect as an educator into the message box, or you can actually use Coach Sue, our AI-based coach, to support you on reflective questions that she'll ask to support you on your critical thinking as an educator. Another thing to point out is that all throughout our Love Heart um, platform you can make edits take things out we still want to give our educators the ability to use their own professional judgment another fantastic feature that we have here on love heart located in the journeys feature is summative assessments so what it will do is it will actually uh select you can actually select all the different stories that you do here on love heart and what that will do is it will summarize all of the learning stories that you've created um, here on love heart to do a summative assessment so for this demonstration, I'm going to choose Lily. I'm going to click the assessments button, click the plus button to open up a new summative assessment document. Go ahead and select the stories that you have created for the child. So for this example, Lily's stories. I'm going to summarize the four stories for this example and start writing. And it's now going to summarize the learning stories into the different learning outcomes of your chosen framework. Now, as you can see, it's created me a summative assessment based on the learning outcomes. And for this example, the EYLF framework. The fantastic thing about this is that at the bottom, it has three different goals that you could work on uh, with, for this example, Lily, um, to again, uh, follow on with that cycle of planning. Now, if I was to go and scroll up, the three goals that we could choose from to support Lily for the next six months for this example is now here. So let's say we want to strengthen her emotional communication. It's now going to create me a new journey with the goal that uh, was suggested to us uh, by Love Heart from the summative assessment. So as you can see, it's now been created. All right, we're now going to move on to journals. Now think of journals as a way to pop in anything that you have done with your ch uh, children for the day, um, ready to share with your family. So for this example, you can see that I've already created one. This is fantastic to share uh, with your families of an overview of what your children have done for the day. It also makes clear links to the uh, learning framework that you have chosen. A quick little tip to streamline this much quicker, you can actually use the microphone and record your day of how it went, what you did with the ch uh, children, or you can also include the children's voices as well and, you know, hear what they have to say and, and their point of view as well. Our next feature that we have here on Love Heart is curriculum. Now think of curriculum as a way to document and plan any activities and experiences that you want to do with your children. And the way that it's organized is it's organized into different rooms or groups. So, you know, for example, toddlers, nursery, preschool, you can actually create rooms uh, 
and plans within it. So for this example, I'm going to show you preschool room. And over here, I've actually already created a program for the preschool children. You can tailor your curriculum program uh, to however you want to suit your teaching, to suit uh, your service. And as you can see, um, I have created some curriculum areas. For example, literacy, if I was to go ahead and edit it, you can make edits and changes and create uh, context, resources and focus as well. You can also um, take them out if you would like to as well and unlink them. You can also set goals for your children as well of what you would like to achieve, whether it's a weekly goals, if it's fortnightly or monthly goals as well. Now, the way that you can create activities and experiences for your children using the curriculum feature is simply clicking the create button. And this is where you can actually jot in some ideas of what you would like to do with the children. Now, for this example, I've popped in, you know, that the children are interested in basketball because it's relating back to uh, ball games. And often we like to go to the park. There's a basketball court. And now that I'm satisfied with my idea of what I want to create for my activity, um, I can push the start writing button. But another quick little tip, if you want to upload some images of how you want your experience to look like, um, and this creates open communication with your other educators that you work with, you can go ahead and upload an image. Or you can actually record a voice memo of exactly what I've typed in into this message box. And what that will do is Loveheart will use your voice to start creating your learning plan. Now I'm going to go ahead and click start writing and that's now going to create me a group learning experience or activity for my preschool children. So very similar to the learning plans that I had shown you before, it's very similar to the layout that was created. So as you can see, it's um, also created in a group context. So the children that are in my learning plan, Debbie, Iris and Max, it's created me the specific developmental milestones, the resources that I'll need, the context, the associated learning outcomes, uh, specifically to the outcomes of the EYLF frameworks, and also the specific teaching strategies that I'll use. Again, the features located on the right hand side are still very much the same where you can provide it feedback, translate it, copy it, or you can also mark it complete. And if I was to click the back button, it's highlighted green to show that I have completed this activity. Another way is you can also mark it complete by ticking the circle to say that you've completed it. Another way that you can create learning plans, activities or experiences for your children is the magic suggestions button. So for example, if you are struggling on what to do with gross motor skills or literacy, simply click the magic suggestion button. And what that will do is Loveheart will start creating you an activity based on the uh, curriculum area that you've chosen. And as you can see, very similar to the one that I showed you, it's created me a learning plan and activity for my children. You can also drag your uh, different types of activities or experiences into the different curriculum areas that you have created. Located on the left hand side of my screen, uh, we also have the reflections button where you have the ability to reflect on your whole program with what went well, what didn't go well and what you would like to do next time. You can jot your ideas and your reflections into here, or you can actually use Coach Sue as well to increase your knowledge, your critical thinking as she asks you reflective questions about your program for the week or for the fortnight or month. Another fantastic feature that we have on the curriculum planning feature is the plans from journey. So any of the individual learning plans that you have uh, created on Loveheart will now be streamlined into here for you to really and drag them into the different curriculum areas. Another great way to streamline your documentation more efficiently and hold yourself accountable as an educator. Our last feature that we have here on Loveheart is coaching. Now think of coaching as your critical reflection, things that you may be struggling with, uh, challenges that you may be facing. So here are just a couple of examples of what this looks like. So over here, we had a child that was struggling uh, to eat their food. So we were able to use Coach Sue um, on suggestions that she thought may help the child. 
We also asked for any resources or ideas and she was able to give us some uh, resources and websites on what we can do next with the child. Another example is if you're struggling with Quip, she's able to support you with what you can do um, in the different uh, quality areas. We also have another one where we had nonverbal children and she was able to provide us with websites, resources um, to support the children as well. Another one was finding out the ratios, the UV outside. So you can essentially ask Coach Sue anything and she is available 24 seven. She is free, our commitment to the sector. And this is our Love Heart demo. I hope you found this useful. Um, and we hope to see you soon joining the Love Heart family.